good day everyone. Uh, I would like to share with you our recent publication in JQSH uh, about medication use evaluation of recombinant factor 7A. Uh, and this paper actually talks about the benefit of doing medication use evaluation and how does it help in uh, cyclic improvement process uh, with regards to the formulary management and that ultimately bring forth uh, the improvement in the clinical practice as well. So why we have selected factor 7A for MUE um, back in 2015, uh, we found that factor 7 was one of the most expensive medication in Ministry of National Guard Health Affairs budget for the last many, many years. So as uh, uh, medication use evaluation had been co-charges, uh, co uh, co uh, one of the co-charges of the uh, Pharmacy and Therapeutic Committee, so we decided to do the medication use evaluation of factor 7. And we found that uh, factor 7 has been mainly used uh, for prevention and management of the hemophilia patients with inhibitors. And uh, we know that uh, factor 7 is not uh, effective uh, for um, uh, prophylaxis or for prevention of the bleeding in hemophilia patients with inhibitor. It's neither approved uh, for uh, this indication nor it's effective for prevention of bleeding in hemophilia patients with inhibitors. But uh, the clinician, they had been using this as a prophylaxis as this was the only option that uh, they had in the formulary. And uh, so we tried to find out other alternatives uh, like other bypassing agents uh, which are not only effective for the prevention of bleeding in hemophilia patients with inhibitor but also cost effective. So back in 2015-16 we found FIBA is one of the bypassing agent uh, which is used uh, three times per weekly, 85 units per kg, three times per weekly, IV patient have to come to hospital uh, three times per week and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, effective and it's approved for both prevention and, uh, prevention and management of the bleeding in hemophilia patients with inhibitors. So we included uh, FIBA in formulary back in 2016-17 for the prevention and uh, management of the uh, uh, bleeding in patients with hemophilia having inhibitors and it was uh, really much more cost effective. And we had seen that patients, those who had been uh, coming to hospital uh, twice, thrice per month uh, with annual uh, bleeding rates more than 20, uh, actually we have uh, a retrospective study ongoing which is comparing uh, recombinant factor 7A versus uh, 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 FIBA. Uh, I mean, we are evaluating the efficacy of the combinant factor 7A and, uh, uh, and uh, FIBA with regards to the annual bleeding rates and hopefully we'll be able to report it very soon. So what we have noticed that the patient, those who had been coming very frequently with the uh, significant uh, number of uh, bleeding episodes, uh, their visits to the hospital were reduced almost to zero. And we were also able to uh, do three major surgeries in one patient successfully uh, with the perioperative use of the FIBA. Then we had another uh, bypassing agent got uh, approved uh, recently, amicizumab, a couple of years ago. And uh, amicizumab is uh, much more effective than other bypassing agent in terms of uh, having very low number of annual bleeding rates. In the literature, annual bleeding rates reported with factor seven is uh, around 25 per year and uh, FIBA is associated with annual bleeding rates of around seven to eight per year, whereas amicizumab is associated with annual bleeding rate of uh, uh, around two to three per year. And uh, another beautiful thing about amicizumab is that it's used subcutaneously, and uh, uh, you can use it once weekly, or once every two weeks, or once every four weeks, and patient can self-administer. So that really improves the compliance of the medication, uh, uh, compliance of the patient with the uh, use of this medication is used once weekly, once every two weeks, or once every four weeks, and patient can administer it themselves at home, so they don't have to come to the hospital like three times per week and stuff like that. And annual bleeding rate is much more lesser with amicizumab. And uh, not only this, amicizumab is almost uh, one million real per pa uh, per patient per year cheaper than FIBA and uh, and factor seven, uh, which is the direct cost comparison. And if you look at the uh, bigger picture that the patient do not have to come to the hospital and annual bleeding rate is much more lesser than FIBA and others, 
then uh, probably uh, FIBA, uh, then probably the amisulumab is much more cost effective than other bypassing agents. So how did we reach uh, in uh, this cyclic improvement uh, uh, process uh, with the help of this MUE? So our MUE of recombinant factor 7A have triggered this uh, chain reaction of cyclic improvement process of formulary management and ultimately we reached to uh, adding amisuzumab to our formulary which definitely uh, has improved our clinical practice a lot. Thank you so much for your attention.